This is the second question of exercise 3.2 of chapter lines and angles of class 9. The question given here is in figure 3.29 that is in this picture 3.29 if AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF and Y is to Z is equal to 3 is to 7 find X. Okay, so here what they have given if AB is parallel to CD and the CD is parallel to EF that is uh, AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF means AB will be parallel to EF. How? Because lines which are parallel to same line are parallel to each other. Here see this line is parallel to CD and this line is also parallel to CD. Therefore AB will be parallel to EF. So how we can write something like you know AB is parallel to so this is given AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF then surely AB is parallel to CD which is parallel to EF isn't it so what would be the reason lines which are parallel to which are parallel to same line are parallel to each other parallel to each other okay so therefore AB is parallel to EF okay so X will be equal to Z why because X and Z are alternate angles interior alternate angles okay so now directly we can write as x is equal to angle x is equal to angle z because they are interior alternate angles and what they have given y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 this can be written as y is to x is, is equal to 3 is to 7. Why? Because z is equal to 7 or angle x is equal to angle z. Okay. Angle x is equal to angle z. And now see here x and y are same side of the transversal where the sum will be equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Now angle x plus angle y is equal to 180 degrees okay we can write as x plus y is equal to 180 degrees what is the reason because sum of interior angles of same side of a transversal or of the transversal transversal equals to 180 degrees okay and see if we consider something like you know an angle uh, a in this picture then surely x will be 7 times of angle a and y will be 3 times of angle a in place of x I will write 7a and in place of y I will write 3a where the sum will be equal to 180 degrees. So 10a will be equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Now so a will be equal to 180 degrees by 10 which is equal to 18 degrees. How? 1 time 18 Okay now, so therefore, a is equal to eighteen degrees. Okay, if a is equal to eighteen, then we need actually x angle x, which is equal to angle z, is seven times a, isn't it? Seven times a, that is uh, seven into eighteen, which is equal to which is equal to one hundred. 26 degrees okay 
So if it is uh, 120 degrees then angle Y is equal to 3 times of A that is 3 into 18 degrees is equal to 54 degrees okay yes therefore x is equal to 126 degrees yes this is the procedure to find the value of x for this problem